Welcome to today's blessing, 6th of December's Holy Blessing, where Supreme Father is talking about how we can be safe from any kind of negativity and how to find out whether those thoughts which are going into our mind or are coming again and again in our mind are actually waste thoughts, impure thoughts, or they are very subtle impure thoughts. And that's what he says that the time which is going on right now, as for this time, within your mind, towards your family, towards other people in the world, towards the complete world as a family, if you have any waste thoughts, any impure thoughts, it's going to affect your mind immediately. And your state of mind and your state of mood is all dependent upon your complete feelings. So let's understand what does God have to say in his own words. God says, may you save your mind and intellect from any negative influence by remaining aware of the one word point. So point means soul, energy, concentrated form of mind, intellect, and also a complete recording of everyone's part and become a number one victorious soul. We'll understand the meaning of the word point over here. God says, at present, Maya's influence creates negative feelings and intentions in your mind. Whenever you're trying to do something good, people or ourselves, we can also have negative feelings or negative understanding towards a soul, towards any other person who's working along with us, who's working in a job, who's working as a partner in a business, or who's as a life partner to or in a family. We can have negative intentions and negative feelings because of the past, because of the present situation and because of our expectations in the future. So God that's why says that Maya or impure negative inner weaknesses can create all this. So God says and intentions in your mind and finishes true realization. That means we are not able to enjoy the true benefit of that contact or that person's presence in our life or even that beautiful opportunity which we are getting in our life. And it's all happening because of misunderstandings or our own negative impure feelings. God then says, therefore, adopt a method of safety in advance. And what is that? That I have to have very pure and divine feelings no matter what the situation, no matter what the person says. And that is the highest form of practice in Brahma Kumaris which we try to achieve. Not so easy, but yes, with meditation, with God's purity with us, it is possible. Alone, it is not. People have tried and look at where we have reached. We have reached Kali Yuga. Even though there are so many different religious sects, so many different gurus and so many different people who are giving the divine knowledge, yet that power of changing the self is not there. That's why meditation or we say connection with the Supreme Creator is the most important. And that's what Brahma Kumaris teaches us. God then says, the special method for this is simply to use the one word point. I'm a point of light, I'm a divine light. You can see the divine Supreme Godfather's form also over here. People say God is formless, right? Yes, he is not having a human form. That's what it means, formless. But it doesn't really mean that he doesn't have any form. Then how do you remember God? How do you do any kind of devotion of God? You can't just do a devotion of nothing. You have to do devotion of something. You have to visualize someone, right? And that someone is a divine being, a divine point of concentrated form of light. And that light, that point itself is the soul. That's how a soul looks. That's the revelation which is happening through Brahma Kumaris of God and also of ourselves. We also just like this, a point of divine light, a concentrated form of energy. And we can call it a metaphysical energy. You can call it the source energy or anything. Then God says, <coughs> if there are any wasteful thoughts, words or actions, then just put a point. That means put a full stop. I am a soul. And at this present time, if I got any kind of desires or any kind of expectations from anybody, obviously my mind will not stop. It's going to keep on fluctuating between past and present and future because of those desires, because of those wants. And when I am desireless, when I'm complete and content within because of my connection with God and I'm achieving everything from God, then the desires reduce, the wants reduce and automatically our complaining reduces, our blaming reduces, and automatically we become a point and we can put a point, a full stop to waste feelings, negative feelings or impure feelings towards 
others towards even ourselves even expectations from the self we can put a full stop to it also and also expectations from people and colleagues and relatives in a family in a job or in a, even in a business so that's what it means to be a point to understand that i have to be a soul conscious being in order to achieve and get all the love and happiness and bliss from the creator instead of asking or desiring and wanting it from others otherwise i will never be able to put a full stop to my thoughts there will never be a break to our thoughts then god says if there are any wasteful thoughts words and actions or actions just then just put a point and you will be able to become a number one victorious soul who is able to put a break as compared to the whole world people are going to depression when their desires and their wants from people are not getting fulfilled or when somebody said something to them and they felt hurt because of body consciousness and not being soul conscious well it's a very deep aspect the word soul conscious and body conscious soul conscious means you are focusing on your values you're focusing on the qualities which god had given us and those qualities can be royalty those qualities can be humility those qualities can be sweetness those qualities can be tolerance and many more things along with the powers when you're focusing on what we were given by god not what we have physically around us then the desires start reducing and that's where hurts from people also start reducing it's a practice more details at prama kumaris itself i can't explain everything over here in detail in a short video of 7 to 8 minutes then let's go ahead god says recognize the forms of maya we spoke yesterday in our blessing that it is very subtle form of irritation and frustration which is also a part of anger and imposing laws impose forcing people to do certain things is also part of anger and jealousy whenever we are feeling that somebody else is always trying to take some kind of advantage of us that means we are jealous of that person it's a very subtle form to recognize it it doesn't come easily to our mind and god says that's what you have to recognize and i am here to make you recognize that through the knowledge which i imparted brahma kumaris a direct pure divine knowledge of god recognize the season the time which is going on we have a season of kali yuga going on it's not a winter season or a summer season or the spring season is the season of kali yuga and keep yourself safe from different impacts of people because the world is going towards more of anxiety and depression so when you are meeting people with more of anxiety and depression you're going to have people with very odd or weird kind of reactions towards you and we need a lot of power to save ourselves and spirituality and prama kumaris is going to impart you that power with this om shanti